family travelers. We are coming towards the end of our seven night cruise on the Carnival Panorama. It's a Mexican Riviera cruise and unfortunately it's day two of rainy weather for us. But we have gotten very familiar with the ship over the last several days. So we figured today we might show you some of the fun and free things to do if you come on the Carnival Panorama. Morning. Hopefully this is not the weather that you will have when you take your cruise. It is rainy, so just picture instead of rain a nice giant sun. But first, coffee. And the good news is coffee is always free. <laughs> What is the name of Hagrid's free-headed dog in Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone? So the name of Hagrid's free-headed dog in Harry Potter. I hope I do. It's what is his you, right? name? Here we are, trivia yet again. We've grown very fond of trivia over the course of our cruise. Either that or we're just really competitive and we haven't won a game yet and so we refuse to give up. Could be either. But... The activities, most of the activities are free on board. There are some that are additional fee if you do like a beer tasting or, you know, a, whatever, things like that. But like trivia is free. Um, there is currently a scavenger hunt going on right now, which seems to be very intense as people are just like running all over the place. like. I mean, you'd think that there was something crazy on the line there. There must be a good prize involved. But we are about to do trivia, and that is one of our favorite fun and free activities. We're not in that mess. People are getting into it. What kind of species is Chewbacca? Do you know? Yeah. Is it a cat? That one I know. Let's see what you put. Oh yeah, yeah. I think that's right. We got the math and the science no. questions. We are not so we'll common. The question again, and you're gonna... We didn't fare too well at trivia, but there are other activities that may be better with, be better suited to us. But other than the scheduled activities, they also do food related things, which who doesn't love food? They have like little cooking demonstrations. We haven't seen many of them this cruise, but I know they have them that you can partake in. And they're apparently going on right now is like a chocolate extravaganza in the buffet area. So we're gonna go by and check whatever that is because it's free and it involves chocolate, so. I'm gonna go with the blue sprinkles. I think I'm done recording this. This is a monstrosity. Oh, you come on. It looks like a cookie monster thing. Look. It's like a cookie monster Sunday. All right, fine. So it turns out the chocolate extravaganza is a bunch of different chocolate themed cakes. They had like Chocolate mousse, chocolate turtle, triple chocolate, chocolate bourbon, but I went with the chocolate peanut butter cake. Check that out. I'm excited to dig in. Let's give it a little taste. We said we were going to eat dessert before lunch, so I'm going to follow through. Okay. Is it as chocolatey as one would hope? This one is not super chocolatey. I'm guessing if you got like, it's not even super peanut buttery either. Um, but you got the triple chocolate. You know, like this is this is vanilla or yellow cake with some chocolate frosting. It's not that chocolatey, but I bet the triple chocolate cake is probably pretty chocolatey. Or wait till you go to the dining room and get the chocolate melting cake. But I mean, it's good. The frosting's not too rich or anything. It's just not super chocolatey. Y'all, we were just walking around and we found 
A duck. What the duck? It says, oh, what luck, you found a duck. Con quackulations? Keep or hide, you decide. Please take a photo with me and post it on the Facebook group Cruising Ducks Original. So, thank you to Harley, Jake, and Avalon for the duck. We may bring it home for the kids. Quack them up to get a duck. Uh, anyways, this is an unofficial carnival activity as carnival has nothing to do with it. But um, I think, and this isn't just like unique to our sailing. Like people do this, like people bring these um, rubber ducks if you wanna partake. I'm kind of like jealous that we didn't because it sounds kind of fun to participate but you can like um, bring some ducks and most people just put like some sort of little card thing with it to let them know who um, hid the duck. And a lot of them have these like QR codes, which I believe probably go to the Facebook group, but it's a cute idea and it, it's fun and I'm mad that we didn't do it. If you get bored, if it's a rainy day or if you just want something fun and free to do, Go, go, duck go duck hunting. Look for ducks. Finally convinced Nick to do the water slide, and then when we get up here, this is what we see. Darn. You lucked out. <laughs> you totally lucked out. We'll see later on. Well, it's a good sign the water's still on in the water park, but we wanted to actually try it out and it's like literally the only time this entire cruise that it's been closed. So, I mean, we'll try again later, but bummer. I think it's not it's common that this thing shuts down because when all the pools and hot tubs were shut down yesterday, this was still open. So we'll get there. We're gonna get Nick on that slide. Just not gonna be right now. Hot tub, and I'm gonna be mad if the hot tub's closed. Better not be closed. Can't even get up to deck 15 where the hot tub is. Every type of water activity is not available, and it's not easy to show you guys all the fun free things there are to do on this ship when everything's closed. <laughs> You're gonna have to use some imagination here because normally you got the whole water park. Let me just show you some B-roll of what this stuff normally looks like on a sunny day. You got a whole water park here, that's fun. You got a whole adults only area right about over here that has like a hot tub and some loungers and some fun things there. You got a main pool area that normally has water in it and that's fun to lounge by and get in. And then you have a pool all the way on the aft part of the ship it has another pool and two hot tubs. So that's the one we're gonna go check out. If that one is closed, then we're going back inside to our room to sulk. Now, one thing that isn't closed, there's an entire sports deck. It has foosball, which is right here where we are. It's windy, but it's doable. And then they also have mini golf and they have, what else is over there? Basketball. They have all four kinds square. of four square, all kinds of like outdoor activities that are still open. And you know, if you have kids, probably a spot that they'll want to come to. It's actually like hopping right now. I think like half the people on the ship are in the sports court. There's pool too. I didn't mention that, but I'm seeing it now. And, oh, and a giant tic-tac-toe board. Um, I mentioned the sky ride. So that's one thing that's actually free that you would think may have a charge, but it doesn't. And then the other thing that's kind of surprising that it's totally free is the ropes course, which much too windy today for that to be working. And I was gonna make Nick do it, maybe another day, but um, it looks pretty fun. Look at that. Earlier today, they had a dodgeball tournament over there. We didn't partake, but you could if you're good at dodgeball, or even if you're not. You can dodge a wrench, fill in the blank. I spy an open hot tub. Yes! 
we found one. It's a bit windy, but I don't even care. We just got done with dinner. Um, so I know we showed you quite a few of the free things that we did today. So I think what we're gonna do is probably end the video here and then tomorrow we're supposed to have like a little bit better weather. Um, so we're hoping that we'll actually get to be outside tomorrow. Um, and if so, we'll pick up where we left off and show you some of the fun outdoor activities that actually look nice and shiny and pretty and you know, make you wanna go on vacation rather than not. So we will see you tomorrow. One super cool thing they do for free in the evenings is uh, dive-in movies. I think tonight is Secrets of Dumbledore. So pretty jazzed about that one. You can find a spot to watch that. <laughs> Time for my breakfast burrito again. Every morning. They also have these like arepa things. I don't really know what they are. They have cheese in them and they're good. is open to everyone but it was closed yesterday so we didn't get to um, experience it yesterday because of the weather and the weather's not much better today but we figure today is our last day so it's our last chance to experience it so Nick took one for the team and he tried it out but there's only one hot tub open on the entire ship so we found it it is standing room only but Nick had to warm up after the water park experience so he's there both you know all the all the pools hot tubs and everything um, are free except for the Havana Club one you have to have one of the um, Havana Club rooms so that's the only one you can't use um, without having that room type and the water park is open to everyone like I said so um, those are fun things to do when the weather is nice not quite as fun when it's rainy but when this is your third rainy day you just kind of do it anyways okay. thank you, thank you. I'm gonna have a green too. Well, it's still raining. Surprise, surprise. Ooh, look at this. So since it's still raining, we're looking for ideas. And another thing that we came across in the app today, it's our last day, but something we came across is that they offer afternoon tea, which is complimentary. You just have to go between like, it's a specific hour. So luckily it just, when we looked at the app, it was tea time. And you can have, you get your choice of tea and your choice of san little sandwiches and desserts and stuff. I got a cucumber sandwich, some macaroons, and some scones, cream. So, tea time. We never do like tea type things at home. It's always coffee. So, seems like a reason to um, have tea. Would you like a spot of tea? Sure. Right now it's just hot water, but. Oh, it'll have tea in it soon. And, because I'm pregnant, I can't have a lot of 
caffeine. We're doing decaf. Nick tells me you're not supposed to do this with your tea. So if I'm offending anyone here, I'm sorry. I don't know how to drink tea because I so rarely do it. You're tea bagging everyone. <laughs> I literally. Like there was this one time where I had a cold and I could not get rid of it for weeks. And I drank tea like, you've never seen anyone drink tea before, because I was desperate. But other than that, I um, can't say it's something I do with any regularity. So if there's proper etiquette that um, we are clearly missing, let us know in the comments, because we are not tea drinkers. Also, we thought this was like, milk, but I think it's sugar. So what do you put in your tea? Do you put it sugar in your tea? Do you put milk in your tea? Is that a no-no? No, you put milk and sugar okay. in your tea. Okay. Well, we don't have that option here, so. Regular tea it is. Pinky out. God, were you raised in a barn? I was raised on coffee. I'm not cultured at all, people. I'm sorry. I... I Drink. Like I like my morning washed. beverages in a <laughs> big old mug, and, 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 just and, and, and straight out of the pot. None of this fanciness. I'm not fancy enough to drink tea. Also, it doesn't taste good. I'm like, um, what's his name? Ted from Ted Lasso. Yep. Tastes like old leaves and water. In my defense, I don't think this is like a highly regarded. Brand. Now that you've in, in, insulted an entire nation of people, we should probably just leave. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm just my preference. I know we're gonna after this video is released, we're, our follower count's gonna go way down. But everyone has their own preferences, right? There's no shaming on the cruise. Just eat my macaroon. Okay, for those of you who love tea, Nick is here to save the day to save our channel. No, I mean, I'm not. I still don't <laughs> like tea. I mean, like, I just recognize that what Brittany is drinking is terrible tea. And I can understand that there are some good tasting teas. Um, well, I said that too. Yeah, but they're not for me. Um, but sometimes it's kind of like vodka. I don't particularly like vodka, but bad vodka is really, really bad. And good vodka, well, it's still vodka and it still tastes <laughs> terrible. But at least it's good in a martini or something. That's kind of the same thing. All right. It was another rainy day. They promised us sunshine and we did not get it. So I think we still were able to show you a lot of the activities around the ship. The other part of this video is not just like, what can you do around the ship that doesn't cost you any extra because you already paid for your cruise. So you want to take advantage of all these things. But the other part is like, how can you save even more money? So a couple things that we just kind of noticed over our time with Carnival. One was before we even got on the ship, we purchased the internet ahead of time. So there are three different packages. We purchased like the top level one because it's the only one you can video stream on and that's really what we wanted it for, um, to FaceTime the kids. So that cost us $14.45 a day per device. Uh, for one device and if you get it on the ship I think it was like 17 a day and the other thing is like we just got one device because you can switch back and forth if you have like 12 devices with you you can switch back and forth as much as you want you just can only use one at a time so we didn't see any need even looking back that we would have needed to do like the two device thing so save yourself some money there also this ship has quite a few like restaurants that require an extra fee. Um, what we kind of gathered from other guests, because we didn't do any of them, is that the quality wasn't like above and beyond what you would get in the main dining room. So if that's like a special occasion thing you want to do, by all means, go ahead. But if you want to save a little money, just eat at the main dining room every night. It's not really that much different. Moral to the story, book things ahead because the drink package, I can't remember the differences in cost, but it was more if you wait till you're on board. And also we were really bummed about the massages because I just assumed like for that, it would be the same price on board. You know, I, I knew some things were gonna be more expensive, but I didn't think the massages would change. 
And it was like $200 for a couple's massage if you booked ahead of time, or I think it was like 230 or something, something like that. Um, and then on board, the cheapest one we could find was 299. So it did jump quite a bit. I, my recommendation would be to book ahead if you can, um, cause you can always cancel it. It's not, you know, you can, you can cancel it if you decide you don't want to do it once you're on board. On some other cruise lines, there were like, that we've been on, there were like specials once you got on board, like, oh, it's a port day, so we're gonna make the massages cheaper. Like, we got none of that. No discounts, no nothing. I don't know, that that just might be like a carnival thing, but don't expect, like, if you're hedging, just book ahead because we there were no discounts, no like special offers or anything like that when we got on board. Bring your own camera, even if it's like your cell phone. Um, we took so many pictures for other people um, just walking around the ship and you're gonna get more like authentic, like in the moment pictures that aren't staged in front of like a photo backdrop that says carnival with like a little, if that's your thing, you know, go for it. But I think that just asking people to take pictures is gonna save you money and you're gonna get a better result. So that would be my tip there. Oh. <clears throat> if you are looking for souvenirs, go to the ports. There's actually like quite a few, I mean, almost every port you go to, there's gonna be like souvenir places right when you get off the ship. Now, some of those might be affordable. Some you might wanna go like a little bit further into the city um, to find, but no matter what, any of those are gonna be cheaper than what you find on the ship. So. Uh, we found like, we got candy for the kids for like less than a dollar um, and some like what do you, a little play truck thing. I, they're just more affordable off the ship. Pour myself a nice non-alcoholic beverage. Oh yeah, look at that. One of the best things that you can do is bring on your own beverages because they are expensive on the ship. So if you're getting the beverage package, this may not apply to you at all. Like everything's included in that. But if you don't want to get the beverage package, you can bring one bottle of wine per person over the age of 21. Um, <clears throat> so that's good right there, just to at least offset the alcohol bill a little bit. And then Carnival will let you bring on a reasonable amount of canned or cartoned beverages, so you can't bring bottles. So if you wanna bring on like water bottles or soda bottles, you can't do that, but you can bring on cans of non-alcoholic beverages. So I picked these up. I think they were three or $4 from Trader Joe's, which saves on the cost of like purchasing soda on board. And then you get to enjoy a nice fine drink whenever you want. <sighs> Strawberry juice beverage. Hopefully you found these tips helpful. We sadly have to go back home tomorrow, but it's been a great trip despite all of the craziness and changes and hurricanes and everything. It's really been a nice relaxing trip for us. So if you have any questions about doing a cruise with Carnival, the Carnival Panorama, the Mexican Riviera cruise, drop them in the comments below. Become like Carnival experts over the last seven days because we haven't really been able to go to port for very long, so we've gotten to know the ship pretty intimately and we've discovered a lot. So feel free to ask us any questions you have, but for now, I think we're gonna enjoy our last day at sea and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye.